big thank you to my buddy Gunner Sports. Your magic is real and I believe in you for passing this along over to me. Chapter 4 of the Dragon Ball Super Toyotaro manga is out, or at least it's leaked on the web. So I'm going to give you my thoughts, my quick review on this manga. First of all, of all the mangas that he's done so far, the Toyotaro adaptations, this is my favorite one. I think that not only is it the most action-packed, but also the art is incredible. I mean, Toyotaro is not Toriyama, but I mean, real talk, guys. Toyotaro is the closest you're going to get to Toriyama. I mean, he's got the style down. The characters are all on model. I mean, I'd hate to say this because some folks will think it's blasphemy, but if there was ever a continuation of Dragon Ball in its manga form, I think Toyotaro would be the perfect guy to continue it. But that's neither here nor there. So most of this manga was pretty much the fight between Goku and Beerus, which is exactly where we're at in the anime right now. And it's really funny to me that Toyotaro managed to fit like an entire episode's worth of content into like one page. It's very funny. But Goku and the others summon the dragon. Videl reveals she's pregnant in one panel. It's so funny how rushed it is compared to the series. And Goku unlocks God Power. So we see it. The artwork is beautiful. Uh, Goku and Beerus have their fight. Now, I really, really enjoy the art, guys. I can't put over how beautiful this art is. Uh, of course, this version of the fight is different than the one in the anime and the one in the Battle of Gods movie. They quickly battle off the ship and start doing major combat. Uh, Goku does not really have to get used to his body in this version of the story, unlike the Super episode that aired last week uh, as of this recording. Goku uh, fights with Beerus in the city. They bounce around. There's just great, great action shots. Goku throwing kicks. This has to be seen to be really talked about. I can't put it over enough. It's a great, great comic book fight. Just really good stuff here. Now... Goku and Beerus wind up fighting into space, and it doesn't look like it's the stratosphere. It looks like it's actually in space, and as they fight, their fight is causing huge ripples in the galaxy, which I think is going to happen in the TV series as well. You know, it's just clang, clang, clang. Just It looks like they're just berating each other, and, you know, everybody can hear it. Meanwhile, it appears like the Kais have arrived on planet Namek, and they have all the Dragon Balls, but... Champa is not anywhere to be found. He's on the other side of the galaxy. Um, meanwhile, Goku and Beerus keep going at it in space. And Beerus, you know, shoots a beam at Goku. Goku is, just like in the movie, he looks looking like he's going to perish. Unlocks the god power one more time. Absorbs it, just like in the series. Exactly the same. Fires the Kamehameha right back. Huge explosion. This is awesome. This was just really fun. I really hope that the series does something like this. Then afterward, Whis appears, and Beerus is like, okay, well, I'm going to go now. Uh, tells Goku that, you know, you know, my teacher, Whis, is even stronger than me, which Goku laughs at, just like in the uh, Battle of Gods movie. And then Beerus leaves. We go to some new material. Apparently, yes, indeed, folks, in the manga, Kibito and Kaio are now two separate entities. So, those of you who are still holding on to the fact that GT might fit in this timeline doesn't appear to be the case. I hate to say it, not dissing GT, but I don't think that's the case here. So, then we go somewhere else in the galaxy and Frieza's henchmen are there and they're shocked at what they see. It looks like it's that Super Dragon Ball. Champa shoots one beam at him, blows him the fuck up. And Sorbet and Tagoma are like, okay, we're on Frieza Planet 17. Uh, we just lost our last kind of, I guess, our top military general or whatever. We're going to have to revive Frieza. And then Champa turns to his assistant, who still has no name, and he's like, uh, let's see, Beerus might not like this, but whatever. Let's see if we can get him a present. And that's pretty much where it ends. Um, very interested in where this story is going. I talked about most of this in a video I dropped a couple of days ago. Uh, here it is. It's actually out. Dragon Ball Super Chapter 4. My review of it is good work. Toyotaro did a great job. And I'll be honest, guys. I'm enjoying the manga a little more than I am the series. I really am. I think the pacing is a little bit better. Maybe a bit too fast for my taste. But I like it. I really i am having a good time reading it. And I hope that the series does something similar. We still have not seen Champa as of the recording of this video. But uh, I, I like the way that Toyotaro is integrating him early. Uh, we may not see him until later, but I do think that 
it would be wise of Toei and the animators to put him in early. It just as a good little kind of teaser of things to come. So that's it. That's my review. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch y'all down the road. We'll see you this weekend for more Super. Let's see what happens.